Hey y'all, here's a progress update on this project here. We have now built the lower seawall along the shoreline. We built the first retainer wall uh, down uh, right above the seawall. And now we've started the third retainer wall going up the hillside. We got one more after that, it'll be a total of four retainer walls. We've also started the um, boardwalk going in along the bottom seawall. That's a good man. Nothing better than loyalty. No, uh, you can't. That's a specific place. No. Yeah. How do we look, Hunter? We can straighten this one back up. I'll pull it back to me. How's that look? Hanging on. <laughs> Thank you. 
got surveyors out they marked the property lines for us so make sure we wasn't encroaching on neighbor's property we got the return wall installed all the way back up to the first retainer wall hey we're getting the vinyl wall installed coming real good we got you a corner here and i had a youtube fan i guess you could say a youtube guy leave me a comment trevor appreciate it asking me why i did not lead with the male edge which would be a lot easier which is is true i like leading with the female sometimes because you can see right here leading with the female it's easier to get the male in there when you lead with the male it's kind of hard up against the whaler but in this situation here we have so much white sand that the female is getting compacted with white sand it's really hard to drive that male down inside so i took your advice trevor and right here i put a corner in did a reverse direction and now we're leading with the mail. And this sheet here went down like butter. So thanks for your insight. Thanks for your tip. Never too old to learn. Always appreciate the comments. Thanks guys. progress today we've made it a little over halfway on this second retainer wall we've got the tractor up here now so we got a little jog out here around the uh, trees we've got uh, the tie backs in back here already I've got to get the tractor really close 
around this tree here because I want to save this big live oak right here. It's a beautiful tree. And so what I did is I went ahead and put a couple of six by six blocks down there in my wall. And I'm gonna have a whole lot of weight on top of this wall. That'll help keep the interior corrugation of this uh, vinyl wall from bowing out. Class three rip wrap from Clear, Alabama. This is what we're installing down at the base of the uh, let's see what big old rocks. Twenty four tons. I think the class three is like two hundred fifty pounds up to five hundred pounds. cord limestone today we got class 3 riprap installed road control cloth underneath of it installing the uh, class 3 rock right on top of the cooker cloth that prevents the riprap from settling into the sand on the triple upper whaler and do a single lower whaler just as a guide then we got a single upper whaler that's going to catch your decking we got the top of the wall cantilevered over the top whaler by about a foot and a half a little extra support Kind of clean the poles up or a chain kind of made a couple 
couple marks on the filing, just kind of smooth them out, make them look good. We're going to be using the same filing for our cable and rail system. started the progress on the third retainer wall. This wall is going to be approximately about 10 to 11 foot exposed. It'll finish it off, finish us off at about 25 foot elevation and then we'll get the other wall right up by the pool. Got the framing for the boardwalk started. Drove 12 foot pilings on the inside to tie it down. Hey guys, appreciate y'all checking out my page. If you would hit subscribe if you like it. I got plenty more videos of this project coming up. We'll be here for a while. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. The interaction on YouTube helps. And give me a comment if you got a comment, and I'll be happy to uh, try to get the comment or question answer for you. Thanks.